At the opening of the 2018 National STEAM Fair earlier today, Minister of Education Nicolette Henry underscored the importance of science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics in the development of the country's future generation. Patricia Isaacs has more. Speaking at the event at the St. Joseph's High School, the minister explained that the National Fair forms part of the ministry's strategy to promote science and technology in school settings. The movement of STEM to STEAM by adding arts to the technical creativity is the foundation for advancement in all fields. Through such activities, we offer to our students and teachers the opportunity to showcase, disseminate, and share knowledge related to science, arts, and technology. The biennial event allows students to create and showcase projects in the areas of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and arts. It saw exhibits and demonstrations from the schools across the regions. These include Annandale Secondary School's aquaponics exhibit, which combines growing plants without soil and rearing fish. Fish are fed food. In return, they excrete ammonia in and in the water, there's a tiny bacteria called nitrosonomos, which converts ammonia into nitrite. And then there's a nitrobacteria, which converts the nitrite into nitrate. The water is then pumped into the garden bed, and the lettuce plants obs observe the nitrate, and the water is filtered and it goes back down. There was also a booth from the University of Guyana, Faculty of Natural Sciences, on the career opportunities available in STEAM. People think about natural science and then chemistry, bio, um, physics, and just think, you know, you could just become a teacher. And so we're here just to curb that, to show that we have so many different things we can offer, so many different career paths. Like for me, I want to become a marine biologist, and that's something that we don't usually hear about in Guyana. The fair also saw participation from the STEAM Guyana team, the Guyana Police Force, and the Defense Force. For InfoHub, Leticia Isaacs.